Hello and welcome to the Comlex Instant Review. Let's review some endocrine problems for surgery. Regarding adrenal cortical insufficiency, all of the following are true except that adrenal insufficiency may be precipitated by anticoagulation with either warfarin or heparin. B. It's characteristically seen as a consequence of metastasis to the adrenal glands, especially from the lung and the breast. Or C, adrenal insufficiency with post-operative patient may have an insidious onset with gradually progressive hypoglycemia, hyponatremia, and hyperkalemia. Finally, the most common underlying cause is prior administration of exogenous steroids. Or E, the electrolyte changes of adrenal insufficiency secondary to prior chronic exogenous steroids may not occur until late in the post-operative state. This is a difficult question. It forces you to understand the exact definition of adrenal cortical insufficiency. And you have to find the answer out of all the choices we mentioned is not correct. Okay, So the answer here it's going to be adrenal cortical insufficiency um, is true regarding all of the following except it's characteristically seen as a consequence of metastasis to the adrenal glands especially from lung and breast that is not true all the other statements we had mentioned is true failure to recognize adrenal cortical insufficiency particularly in the post-operative patient may be a fatal error this error is especially regrettable because therapy such as exogenous steroid is effective Adrenal insufficiency usually occurs in a host of settings including tuberculosis, autoimmune states, severe infections like meningococcal septicemia, pituitary insufficiency, uh, after burns, during anticoagulation therapy, or after chronic administration of exogenous steroids. Although the adrenal gland is a fairly common site for metastasis, it's rare for there to be enough destruction of the glands to produce clinical adrenal deficiency. Chronic adrenal deficiency, also called classic Addison's disease, should be recognizable preoperatively by the constellation of skin pigmentation, weakness, weight loss, hypotension, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, hypoglycemia, hyponatremia, and hyperkalemia. Death may occur within hours of surgery if a patient with Addison's disease is operated on without recognition of adrenal insufficiency. Also, an acute adrenal crisis involving fever, shock, and depressed mental status may occur as a response to surgery or trauma. Patients who have adrenal insufficiency as a result of exogenous steroids uh, may not develop the classic electrolyte abnormalities until um, the preterminal period. Keep in mind that adrenal insufficiency uh, may also develop insidiously in the postoperative period progressing over a course of several days. This insidious type tends to occur when the actual adrenal defect itself occurs in the perioperative period as would be the case with adrenal damage from hemorrhage into the gland. Measurement of the blood corticosteroid levels, urinary corticosecretion, urinary sodium levels, and response to exogenous steroids is helpful in establishing the diagnosis of adrenal insufficiency. Thank you for listening to the Comlex Instant Review podcast and good luck in your preparation for the boards.